I think there people was. will still be playing Melee even when Smash 4 comes out. Oh, definitely. There's there's no doubt that I already talked to people at, at EVO that were com very committed to staying with Melee regardless of right. how Smash 4 turns out. So here we go. We got DP going up against Lod. We saw Lod play earlier, but we have we've seen DP just completely tear through people with his Falco. Yeah, I don't think he's going to tear through Lot. Lot is, is not exactly a pushover. He's beaten Zero, CT Zero. You've seen him at MLG. He's beaten Zero before. He's beaten a lot of our region's best players, all with Peach. Um, he's struggled in this matchup. He has struggled against Falco, specifically DPs. Um, he's even lost his, his brother, Smash Gods Falco. So. Uh, Falco's been a, a, a tough spot for him. We'll see if he can make it work today. Shout out to that gangster laser right there that DP threw out. Oh, really the sideways, just, the just standing, neutral. Gat, gat, gat. So even percentage. Ooh, nice dare, but he ooh, managed very, to very nice nair. Oh, deep. Uh, Lod could not get back to the ledge in time though. I think he anticipated fastball right there, so tried to snipe him with a turnip. No luck. Oh, misses that nair just barely. Nice shot. Interesting that both, I know this is one of DP's favorite stages, and this is a really good stage for Peach, so I'm uh, kind of not surprised that they started here. This is a very unusual starting stage in Melee. Usually the starter is going to be Battlefield or you know, Yoshi's Story. This is a little bit more uncommon. Nice back air. Taking advantage of the invincibility. Staying aggressive on Peach and closing out that stock, and now we're at 3-3. Three, three. That was a good rollout by DP. Uh, he, he knew he had to get out of that corner because when you get you're stuck in shield against Peach on the left side of the stage, the down smash is coming. And it's probably going to hit you out. You don't want to be off stage with Falco. Very true. Rolling isn't a newbie thing, but if you do it too much, then yes, it is. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you have to roll. If you're in shield, you don't have a lot of options. You can jump, you can roll, uh, but you can shield drop, and then you have to think about what you're going to do next after that. So, a lot put him in a really tough position. Wow. Pivot to F smash right there. Oh, he's fishing for that up air. He did it earlier. And he's he's not afraid. Got to have confidence. He'll go out. He'll go out there and make things work. Ooh, and he had really good DI off that nair. That nair could have been the end. Wad, despite being down a little bit on this stock in percents, he's been able to keep it even. Nice. I was just checking to see if a friend was still in the tournament, and he is. Yeah, true. Ken and Black. Ooh, oh, that'll man. be the end of that one. So now Lod takes a very, very slight lead. We'll see what he's able to do here. I, I don't know if either of these players is going to get much of a lead on the other uh, right. as we go, especially on Dreamland. If, 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 I think Lod's thinking in his head, if I could get one down smash, he must have not had a jump there. Yeah. If you can get one down smash, you get such a big lead, but you just can't do it. Falco puts on pressure so well, and when Falco, you know, you, you want Falco to crouch cancel, but DP's not going to fall for that. DP may be a little bit aggressive, but he's not that aggressive to go up there. And again, this is this is the way we've seen all the stocks go. DB takes the early advantage, and then Lod kind of just sits at that 100 something percent, doesn't die, and brings it back. So if, we, if DB wants to win this, he's gonna have to close out these stocks. Nice job. Again, you know, that's that's the dreamland. <laughs> exactly. In, in there. It's gotta be frustrating playing a Peach and you're playing on Dreamland, and the maps are so big. Wow. Side B right there. I'm not sure if he meant to do that. I don't think he did. Ooh, oh, what a, that was a great get up response option by DP. He knew he jumped and he knew he was going to get red, but he just threw out the dare anyway. And because he said that way, right, I already jumped, so what's the best thing I could pick? That's that yard right there. Lod. Oh, and Lot threw bomb. the bomb away. Wow. I, don't th I didn't even see it. I don't think he knew he had a bomb. It's just one of those rare percentages that you don't even think it's going to happen, so you're just like, oh, let me toss this real quick. Oh, wait, it just happened to be a bomb. Oh, no! Oh! DP air dodges off stage and Lod gets a freebie. Yeah, well, he'll definitely take that against a Falco, a matchup he struggled with greatly recently, but uh, very fortunate he won the first game here. That could become big when it comes to counter picks, especially in a best of three set in melee. Where do you think he'll take him? Um, you think he'll go back? DP probably go back. Yeah. That'd be my guess. Now, I actually need to clarify this is winner's. 
quarters? Yes. Alright, so I know I think Nintendo likes to do, and there, there it is, he does go back. Nintendo does 3 of 5 for semis, which wouldn't have a ban, so that might change the kind of rig game a little bit. Um, but here, not surprised he went back. Like I said, I think this is DP's favorite thing. So far, so good for DP. It's going to be blow for blow right now. There aren't going to be a lot of electric combos against Peach uh, in Dreamland. It's just there's not enough uh, close quarters to do it. Shield pressure from DP right now. Good back air to get him off stage, but it's Peach Man, and it's also Dreamland, so you're going to need a lot more than that to kill her. Yeah. Little juke action with the parasol. I think a lot's totally okay coming back here. I don't think you get any problem with it because he does such so well here and has so much time to DI moves. And Falco's, you know, just as gimpable at Dreamland as he is on the Yoshi story. There's no difference between the here and there, so it doesn't really matter, right? Right. But Peach is going to be better here because Peach is already hard to gimp regardless. Just because she's so floaty. Right. So, so these, those back airs, they're not going to kill at 146. They're going to kill at 172 where he's at now. Nice back air. There it is. Good call. <laughs> Oh, nice job by, by Lod. He just went for it. Get everything you've got. Three stocks apiece. There's the down smash, catches him crouch canceling. And, uh, Ooh, nice rising dare to get out of that. Yeah, the rising dare, that's a, another time he's used it. Uh, so I think Lod might get him the next time. He's, he's a pretty adaptive player. We'll see if he does. Oh, here nice I'm. free grab right yeah. there. Oh, he goes out for it. Not going to make it back. Nope, very, very, Falco. very nice trade by Lod. Now he has the for once, finally has the lead, but can he hold it? He does. Looking to get some percentage. Yeah, we're looking to see our first real lead of the set here. Ooh, nice, nice! Oh, Jab nice. reset to down smash. Off the up throw. Very, very, very good execution by Lot and quick mind games. Being able to assess the situation so quickly and make a good decision. That's, that's what makes him a top player in melee. Exactly. Oh, he just barely was out of range to dumpster him. And DP just uh, made a split second too late for that forward smash. And now oh, Lod's starting to look like he might run away with this one. Yeah, DP needs to close out the stock as soon as possible. And uh, Dreamland's not helping him do that. That's, no, that's it where not. it's playing against him. Because this is two stocks in a row now that Lod's lived past 160. And then make it 179, two stocks in a row, he's lived fast. So this, oh, oh my gosh, man. he's falling apart now. 183, this is two stocks in a row, 180 plus percent. That is very impressive. But, but not surprising. <laughs> for Peach and the end this level. Exactly. Because what Falco's going to have a hard time spiking Peach at the early percents. It's going to be yes. like the mid-level percents that you can catch Peach on those dares. But Peach is, is once he passes the mid-level percents, it's hard to combo. See right there, he got him to 50, and now what? It seems that DP, if he, unless he's given an opportunity to throw out maybe a pillar combo or anything, I saw him switching back to the laser game. Maybe he wants to play a little bit more passive and get that percentage that he needs that he can get those follow-ups and those combos too. And, and you know, he can do it. I I remember he had a match in Xanadu against DJ Nintendo's Bowser that he actually lost the second game to. Um, and barely won the third game, but he had to just literally just camp him out. Yeah. But he doesn't like to do that. It's, it's, it's just in his it's head. It's not he his style. Right, he doesn't like to do that. And uh, I think he wants to find a way to nice. win. That's got to be so frustrating, though, just to see her float back. <laughs> He chose to do nothing there. Uh, interesting. Oh, soft I, hit with that bear. Oh, trying to make a double read, maybe. Yeah, especially for the dare. Oh, there's that shine pressure. That shield is looking ever so, ever so small. And once again, a lot approaching the uh, very high percent territory here. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, it. That's That'll it. do it. A solid two stock by Lod. Dang. Three stocks in a row, 143 or more percents. And uh, that ended up being the...